Shut up and sit down. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of the Frey MMA podcast. Tonight, we are here with Tobias Bad Intention Harilla. Back off of the the uh, interview with Fernando Flores, who is going to be fighting at Fight Club Rush six for the Bad Boy of Sweden title. How are you doing, Tobias? I'm good. I'm I'm good. How are you? Uh, I'm doing great. Uh, very much looking forward to to this event. Um, so first of all, like you know, how's the preparations going for for the event? I saw that you was in the states that's why you're 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 doing this great uh, podcast in english as well um so h- how was the training going out there training was really good over there uh, of course you're getting challenged in a whole whole nother way you know <clears throat> a lot of really 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 good guys over there so uh, it was really good training has i'm, I'm better than i ever been uh yeah yeah so i guess the, the there's quite an elite level of of fighters out at the hard knocks 365 where you was training like ufc caliber fighters that you we saw that you've been sparring with and rolling with so yeah i, I definitely see that um that there must be like levels like people say that there's levels to this game and i see that you're going out there to get in the middle of everything like that is that a, is that true yeah, absolutely. Like you said, it's level to this, and you know, like when I was there, the the something I surprised me was like how good strikers the wrestlers are, and how good wrestlers the strikers are. Everybody over there are really, really, really good at everything. You know, like when I wrestle with a bunch of wrestlers. Uh, and then le- the other day, you know, we going to spar striking. I was like, okay, this is go, you know. But everybody is good in everything. Uh, so that's and and another thing that was like, like I'm not used to is is uh, over here at home. I'm like, uh, I got some hard sparring rounds, and then I have some less hard. Over there, it was like different for you know in three whole weeks and not an easy round you know everybody is so good and and uh yeah yeah but it was it was good i i, I was there the last year as well and uh, i felt my my uh, how much i have had improved so that was really really nice i guess as well in a place like that with such uh names you really want to impress uh, during during the sparring as well you want to impress the coaches out there and you want to impress the other fighters so i understand that everyone goes hard like all the time yeah of course of course it's but it's good you need competition it's like uh like you said you always want to impress yourself and impress the others and and everybody are winners over there everybody has this winner mentality they they want if they get the chance they will fucking beat you up uh, and that's the difference you know over here at home i'm the i'm one of the guys that like beat people up in sparring but over there everybody does it everybody are humble and really good guys but when it's sparring they they fucking spar mm. <laughs> but it's that, that's the way you like I, I like to spar really hard when it's when it's uh, time to you know when I have a fight coming up because I think that's the way you prepare the best you gotta be be like ready for for really hard sparring because you get tired in a different way you get nervous in a different way things hurt and and like yeah so I rather do uh, not so many rounds but when I do it I do real real rounds you know Okay, so you're not the type, of, the type of guy that will do four rounds in training when it's three rounds at the event kind of thing. You, you rather stick to how it is. You know, like, closer I get to the fight, the more... Uh, the the harder sparring I want and, like, more competition look like 
like I rather do as close to a fight as possible when I spar, you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, when I spar, when I don't have a fight, I can do like I don't care. Then I just train and spar and do as much as possible. And now I more trying to do more like a real fight like mm. sparring in like three five minute rounds and maybe after that we can take a couple of minutes resting and then maybe another fight or even better to do like uh, three or four or five minute rounds with different guys all the time yeah. so they are fresh and i'm tired you know to get the best out of you kind of thing yeah exactly so um to be as bad intentions gorilla five and one and never left the first round so if i was to ask you um how this fight is gonna go i guess you're gonna say in the first round kind of thing but uh how, how do you see this fight going against fernando el toro flores i think he will be a re- he, he he's going to be really hard to to you like if i'm going to stop him i really need to stop him I really need to knock him out if I'm, uh, and I think he's going. He wants to pressure me. He wants to pressure me and take me on deep water. He wants to get it to the later rounds, you know, like second round, third round. Uh, he's just going to grind me. That was he, is what he will try to do. Uh, but I don't know. I don't care if it's the first round, the second round, or the third round. But I'm going to finish him, 100. Hundred percent. So put put your bets on because Tobias said it's going to be a finish. Yeah, then it's going to be a finish. <laughs> <laughs> um, what does this bad boy of Sweden title mean to you? Mm, you know, I like belts and I like I like things like that, but uh, I don't know. That's a hard question, but I think it's like. Like Fernando is, uh, he did challenge me in a pretty badass way. You know, first of all, he, he, he has the balls to go out and challenge somebody officially. And, uh, and uh, he challenged the baddest motherfucker of, of them all. So, but, but it's, just, it's, it's just a belt. Uh, but it's exclusive and it's between two badass guys, so... Yeah, because I know I know in the conversations previously there was uh, four guys that they were looking to get the hand on this on this title or on this fight, uh, as including uh, Franz Leoa. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the, but the other guys is like, I don't know. The, the the reason I think Fernando is is as bad as he as as it gets is like uh, he takes fights. He's not scared. He's not scared of fighting anyone. He's not scared of his record. He's, and I know that a guy like that is dangerous. If he doesn't fear anything and he doesn't give a shit about his record, and uh, uh, he comes to fight, uh, and it's the same as me. Like I say, I don't give a shit about my record, but I do. I want. I only want straight wins on my record, but I don't let that affect my pick of fights i want to take the biggest challenge i want to take the fight that has the biggest hype and uh, gets me the biggest paycheck uh uh, and like uh, uh, yeah that's why i think he he's he's pretty badass because he he's he doesn't care he wants to take the the hardest fights and he's fearless so here's the thing that's kind of probably difficult for guys like me and uh, Joanne, who is sitting quiet here because of mic difficulties, um, will not understand. It's to the point of you guys respect, have so much respect for each other, but yet you're going to go in there and try and literally knock each other out. Um, it's the kind of mind games and, and, and mentality that MMA fighters have that, you know, average Joes probably won't understand. Would you say that the, the men mentality of this fight game is very different to anything else in any other sports yeah absolutely it's a it's a it's a crazy sport that we are doing you know if you think about it we we do we do we we lock ourselves in a cage in front of so many people and 
we have a guy in front of us that's, who's going to try to knock us out and uh, we are it's uh, it's not uh, it's hard to explain in English you know <laughs> uh, but but you know you get my point it's it, it's very rare for for it, uh, it's scary uh, I can say it's scary to, to walk uh, in front of uh, so many people and you know fight another guy that you know could possibly kick your ass uh, and for me now like doing it on, on in my whole town in, in front of everybody I know in front of people I love and and uh, I know Fernando he's a uh, has his family there and everything and it's but that's the cool thing about it to like be under pressure and perform and and uh, yeah MMA is really nice and like you said we have huge respect for each other and that's for me it makes it even 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 funnier to do uh, I don't have a problem with uh, fighting a guy I like. You know, I think it's cool, and I uh, and I know I, I know uh, for for a fact that after you fight a guy, you like him even more. <laughs> yeah. So, have you had any problems with fighters before? Like, you know, going into a fight and being like, I actually don't like this guy. You know, and uh, yeah, um, yeah, I, 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 a lot many times. You know. I've been a f amateur for a long time, and th there, you know, when we're at the same hotel, we see each other, see each other at the breakfast. I see someone fucking looking at me in a way that I like. I'm like, I'm going to fuck him up, <laughs> uh, and I'm used to that. But also, some of the guys, I'm also used to like, ah, we say hello to each other and like, yeah, good luck and everything. So, uh, I like both situations. It's yeah. Yeah, and then, like you said, at, at the end of the fight, the respect is always there afterwards, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. I, not always, but most of the times. Yeah, most of the times. Um, so, if we say that uh, past Fight Club Rush, everything has uh, gone well for you and you are holding the Bad Boy of Sweden title, who would be your next ideal opponent? Do you have anyone in mind that you, you're looking forward to, to facing in the future uh yeah that was uh i i asked you wh wh when this episode is going to get released so because i i want to tell you a uh, future opponent but i can't tell you yet but i can tell you it's going to be uh, a fucked up really nice fight <laughs> Okay, so stay I have tuned a fight. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a fight uh, coming up after this, but uh, I can't tell you guys really yet, but soon. Uh, do, could we have a, a date on when the news will arrive then? Mm, in about a week. Okay, so everyone, the, the, Tobias's uh, Instagram is down below, so you'll probably get the news from there. We'll put yeah. that down below. Um, so looking forward to that as well. Um, so. The respect for Fernando Flores is there. Your prediction is there. Um, how do you? How is it about you know not only fighting at home, but you're also fighting in in a production that is run by your club? Like, do you really feel like you have to put on a show for for the people that come there because you're obliged to do that? Yeah, yeah, of course, but it's naturally. You know, I know the show is there when I'm there. Like, uh, yeah. Uh, but I, and I, I kind of like the pressure. I, I don't know if it's just me, but when I'm fighting home, I get, I feel a lot more pressure because I feel like I need to perform in front of the people I love, you know. And for the town that I'm, I'm in and everything, because I feel that I have their, their, their support and I want to perform as good as I can in front of them. Mm -hmm. uh, so the first Fight Club Rush, I like, I didn't like it. <laughs> I like, fuck. <laughs> but now I really enjoy it. I have learned to make the pressure a good thing. And, and it's actually really comfortable fighting at home. You can, uh, you, you're in your hometown, you can go home to your apartment, you can... Uh, yeah, it's really 
comfortable fighting at home. Yeah. And like the old uh, quote says, pressure makes diamonds. So I yeah. guess the more the pressure, the better you can perform as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think so. La like my last time fighting at uh, Fight Club Rush uh, was like, I, I really nailed the performance from my side. I, uh, the the mind, mind was perfect. So that's what I'm going to do this time as well. So you you've been off for a while with with a with a nagging uh, hand injury. How's that doing now? Uh, it's doing really good. Uh, uh, it's it feels really 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 good to have my right hand back. I feel like uh, like I should. Uh, and the hand is sometimes it get like uh, it hurts a little bit, but then I just rest it a little bit and it, it, it's it's good. It's really good. So are you looking to knock out with the left or the right this time? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever comes. Could <laughs> Whatever be a kick. comes. You never know. Yeah, it could be anything. So um, am I right in saying that you're, you're one of the one of the fighters that are coming up now that actually started in, in purely MMA like uh, Fernando Flores did? Or did you have a different kind of martial arts or boxing background? Mm, I did some boxing and some kickboxing before, but I would say straight MMA. Uh, yeah. So uh, without re revealing too many secrets as well, uh, I know you, you kind of gave a prediction already, but what is the game plan against Fernando Flores? Is it to not allow him to, to, to pressure you and put you into his game? Yeah, I think so. I don't... <laughs> I, I'm I'm focusing so much about my performance and not uh, I don't know I I will adapt on anything that comes I will I will go out there and start to bang right away and put the pressure on him and if he wants to pressure me he can try but I will uh, I will stop him so fucking hard that he he won't be able to pressure me and maybe maybe he will maybe he will pressure me the first round but. In the second round, or in the third round, or anything, I'm, he's going to run out, and I'm going to put his lights out. Well, there you go. That that sounds like a game plan to me. Just just stop him and put him out. Uh, a guy that has never been stopped. Is that correct? He's ne he's never really been put out as well. Never been stopped. He's never been stopped. But the fir sometimes has to be the first time. Yeah. So Tobias Herrera uh, looking to stop the unstoppable. Yeah. Fight Club Rush. So, um, thank you for your time as well. Anybody that wants to watch the pay per view, I'm, I'm sure it's on Fight TV. Is that correct? Yeah, I think so. I believe okay. so. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, you can check that out on uh, Fight Club Rush's Instagram page. Uh, finally, if you wanted to talk about any sponsors or fans and family that you want to give a shout out to, now's your chance to do so. Uh, it's so many. I don't want to maybe i forget somebody so yes thank you everybody who supports me i really appreciate it thank you and definitely bad boys in there somewhere right I yeah mean, they're making yeah, the belt course. for you and that's uh uh so yeah really looking to your performance um at fight club rush six and looking forward to the news that you're going to be bringing out soon as well yeah um, cool. so thank you for your time as well and uh thank we'll you. see you on another episode down the line and everyone yeah. Check out uh, Tobias down below on the Instagram. Thanks cool. for your time, man. Thank you. Thank you.